Hi, everyone. I'm Diane Evans with StampingWithDiane.com. I'm an individual um, Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the interior of British Columbia. So welcome to the International Crafters uh, Video Hop. This is a video hop that uh, numerous demonstrators from around the world get together and we create cards uh, and do a video on a theme. And this month's theme is thank you. I mean, what better types of cards to make are thank you cards? In any event, you guys, I am so excited to be a part of this team. And I'm going to use, and I'm just going to hop on down to my desktop here, and I am using the translucent florals. I have to honestly say that that these, these, this stamp set was really not one that really triggered me to um, even try using it. But honestly, when they came out with the new paper, and this is an add-on paper, and check this paper out. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. It's called Delightful Florals. And it uses this translucent. You can use the dyes to cut out some of these flowers and different things. But then they have the really pretty pastels onto the back. Um, but as soon as that paper came out, that's what really inspired me to start making cards with this. So my card is a very simple one. Um, I like to go with simple um, because sometimes, you know, you can develop a card just from a certain layout. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Um, I actually, I always say I cheat when I go onto the back of, the designer series paper. And I always go and I check out the colors that are used in the designer series paper. So in this particular one, it, it uses the berry burst. It has fresh freesia in it. It's got blackberry bliss. It has also bubble bath in it. And of course, parakeet party and um, this uh, pretty peacock. I think these colors go amazing together. I'm just using a tiny bit of this, um, but it's going to come together, I think, really quite well. All right, so I have a regular card base. Um, I always, I do everything in Imperial, but very easy. I did this so that the measurements can be easily just adapted to um, metric. So I just took half of a piece of cardstock, folded in half, and I just scored it on in Imperial in the half, um, four and a quarter. But if you're going in metric, you would score it halfway in between. Now I use the thick basic white um, because whenever you're doing a card base in white, you should always use this. This is, a, actually it's a little bit wait, um, thicker, I think, than the regular um, card base um, or the regular card stock. So I do have a piece that's one quarter of an inch or the one next layer down. And this is very burst. And I like to actually do my card front and then put it onto my card just in case I make some errors. So then I jump down to the next layer and this is just plain basic white and um, just have that. And then this piece happens to be two inches by five inch. I love the three and three quarters by five inch um, mark. So we're just gonna go and I'm just actually gonna put that like that. And then when I go and I put this on, it's going to, this part is all going to be um, uh, framed by the berry first. So let me just go here and put this on. And I'm gonna be um, saying to myself, I wish I had replaced this glue. Now I'm putting this piece down First, and the reason I'm doing that is, is just in case, and your um, trimmers and different trimmers all seem to measure just a tiny bit different. So if this is a little bit too big, what I could do is I could trim this part off, but I'm okay with this one being like that. And then of course, this is gonna go like so. Now, have you seen the deckled circles? I love the deckled circles. This one happens to be the sixth smallest one. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to start stamping on there. I'm not using any of these dies. Actually, I've turned around and I've used um, some of the dies from the textured florals because I really like the, the sprigginess of it. Now, is that a word? Who knows? In any event, let's go. And I have picked out these images here. And I am going to just stamp those with 
We're going to use Berry Bliss or Blackberry Bliss. We're going to use Fresh Freesia. And we're also using the Berry Burst. So let's just get those open. And I'm using the three um, colors or the three sizes. Like I say, these three here. All right. So let's see. I am going to start by doing the Fresh Freesia. And I'm going to do it in the larger one. And I'm just going to put this off down here. And these colors go so nice. This is a distinctive stamp, so it really does stamp beautifully. If your stamp pad tends to be a tiny bit too dark, what you can do is just um, take some of the ink off. And you can do that by just taking a block like this and just rubbing it off. So I'm just tapping lightly. We're just going to go in and put some Blackberry Bliss. Oh my goodness, that would have been better if I'd done it a little bit different. Let me go. And I'm going to go on to, and I'm just going to go and restamp that on the other side. You got to make sure that you do go down. Now, I always like to clean my stamps in between um, so that I make sure that they're none of them um, contaminate one another. And especially when I'm using that same stamp set. So let me just go and we're just going to clean that off. Just make sure it's clean. And I'm just going to come in with the berry burst now. And I'm just going to kind of just put this around this part of this deckled circle. But what beautiful images, right? So we just clean that off just in case we go to use it in another spot. And another one that I really like is this little tiny one. And I'm going to use that in the berry burst as well. And I'm just going to put that up there because what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to stamp the thanks. Now this thanks that I'm going to use is from the biggest wish. I wanted it to show up quite big and bold. So there, that's going to go like this. This is going to go like so. And then I have this piece here. And this one happens to be 7 eighths by 2 and a half inches. And I'm actually going to stamp that. I love when you can take a stamp and you can actually um, go ahead and use white embossing powder on it. And it's going to look amazing. Now, this is a photopolymer stamp. You should always have a paper piercing mat. I have a whole pad of grid paper under here. So I will go ahead and just use that. Now, this I'm just, I'm going to emboss. So I'm using white embossing powder. Um, so I'm using Versamark first. I'm going to go in with my white embossing powder. Now, when I use embossing powder, I always, whoops, I use another piece of cardstock and just put that across there. And then I don't get it all over the place. Like um, embossing powder does tend to fly. And then I'll just come in quickly and do I use the heat tool. Um, embossing, I think, adds to every card. And like I say, I want this thanks to really pop up. So we just get that embossed. There we go. And then now we can start looking at putting this card together. So this is going to go like this on here. It's going to go here. And then I want this thanks to go on there. And you see how that kind of just pops off of there. Just like that. You know what, we might even be able to maybe put one of these. Hmm, I'm wondering, let me just clean this part off and maybe I'll use the fresh freesia on there as well. 
like I say, I'm just going to make sure that that's kind of clean. We just use some fresh grisha and just maybe get a bit more on here. There. All right. Like I say, this is just going to go on here. We're going to put this off to the side there and just have that go there. Okay, so to me, I think I think we can go ahead and put this base onto here. And then I'm going to show you. I don't even think I have any glue here. I'm just going to grab my other glue. And we'll just put this glue on here. This paper is so pretty, oh my goodness. So just like this. Oops. This is going to pop off of here, so I'm just gonna put some dimensionals on there. This across here that's just gonna go up there and then I thought well we need to have ribbon so this beautiful ribbon this is um, it's a white and silver sheer ribbon it's called silver and white sheer ribbon now this is great ribbon because you can turn around and you can color it with your stamping blend so i went ahead and i stamped some with the light one um, berry burst and then i just tied it in a bow and that's going to go on here but then i thought ooh, you know i've got these that are sitting from these are the sprigs that are from the textured florals and i did that in pretty peacock because it's in there and also the um berry burst figured that could go there behind there actually we might even put it off to the side there and then this and then i also thought what i could do and it would go along with it with the silver is add some of the silver ribbon and this is from an online exclusive and i think what i'll do is i'll just loop it behind here so i'm just going to come in and grab my seal whoops and we're just going to loop some of that silver behind there um and maybe three just some all right so I'm just going to come in and cut that with my ribbon scissors just gives it a little bit more to it and what I like to do then is also take some tear and tape and just sort of help seal that down and keep it down and then we're going to pop this up also with dimensionals. So see, this is going to be like this. Whoops, I really kind of wanted it more up in the corner. So just bear with me here. There we go. And I'm okay with that coming down there. And then we're just going to put this up there. And it's just going to give it just a tiny bit extra of um, texture to this particular card. Just like that. And let's go ahead and get this behind here. So I'm going to have to bring that down just a bit. So I'm just going to come in with my glue, put some glue on here. And I've got it in such a way that I can put it on afterwards and make, like, put these on 
and then make sure that it's going to fit onto the card. So I've got that on there and I want this to come a tiny bit over to this side over here. Like so. And then we're going to come in with dimensionals and we're going to stick that down as well. But this would be a special thank you card um, to somebody because there's lots of layers and stuff to it. And, you know, it's a big circle, so I'm going to put some extra dimensionals on there. I'm hoping that you're enjoying this International Crafters um, blog hop. Make sure that you go in and leave a comment for them. And when it goes live, check out all the other ones as well. All right, so that's just going to go there. Like that. Let's go ahead, put that on with the glue dot, and I've got glue all over my hands. <laughs> my goodness. There we go. I love this in this berry burst. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful color. All right, so we also have these, um, oops, these, oops, I just lost some dies so i'll have to go down and make sure i get that but these ones they come in three there's um sequins they're three different colors um i think this pink goes great with this um one here um this has got a pretty peacock in it as well i just think it's just a little too much on that particular one so like there and let's have we have the inside of our card and because it's white we don't have to worry about it um, there and I am just going to go and I'm going to just put one of the flowers down below and I think I'm going to use um, the berry burst on this particular one I think it'll look good on the inside um, normally I would put those leaves on here but I think because I've done all of the um, the um, rest of the card with the flowers that I think this works best. All right, so let's go and put this onto the front. I'm hoping you enjoyed this. Share my video, I do appreciate it. So. That glue just gives us a tiny bit of wiggle room. And there's our card. So I hope you enjoyed that. And there we go. So lots of different texture on it. I've got the inside of the card done as well. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, remember to hop on to the next one. Just copy the link and get on to the next video. Thanks so much. Um, have a great day and um, we'll see you soon. Bye for now.